Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we are so thankful of just a moment for, for pausing with your word, of just a few moments to be gathered with others. That, Lord, we know some of the people we're gathered with, and some people are, are strangers, and yet in the Holy Spirit, they're siblings. In your creation, you called them and us to be a family together before you. And in that recognition as family, to really see who we truly are. And so, Lord, we thank you for now, here, this moment, and your word. Lord, guide us by your Holy Spirit as we look to your word, as we look to it together. Lord, help us to see not just what we want to see. And too often we open our Bibles looking for an answer that suits us. Too often we, we open our Bibles looking for support for our argument. Lord, open us to what confronts us, what convicts us. Help us to see where we are wrong and where we need your grace. And let us begin from a place of grace as we approach your throne. Lord, we pray for all those who are gathered in Christ Jesus' name, who abound in that grace in all of the world. Lord, we pray for brothers and sisters in far-flung places, again, who we will never see in this lifetime, but we will rejoice in heaven together with forever. Lord, we pray for the church in places of struggle. We pray for the church in places of, of persecution. We pray for the church in places of war. We pray, pray for the church that seeks to be a sanctuary. And Lord, we pray for the churches that are being torn down because of neglect, because people are just walking away, because generations are not being told of your love. Faith is not being handed down. Oh Lord, we pray and ask for forgiveness because that is so much the truth of this Western culture, of this people who saw themselves for the for the longest time as the the chief advocates of christian living and faith and how far we have fallen lord even those who see themselves as the best kind of christians and the most righteous of christians christians are hypocrites view their own culture as christianity and not christ as their lord oh lord forgive us for the mistakes of our faith and teach us how to believe in you, trust in you, follow you, and know you once again. Lord, may we do so by opening ourselves to your word and being guided by your Holy Spirit, even now as we do so together today. This in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And we turn to the book of Acts, reading chapter 20 at verse 35. I have showed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak, and to remembering the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. The prophet Isaiah spoke of being shown things, not just shown the revelation of the Messiah, but being shown how things are right here and now. And here's, here's Luke, here's the the. Uh, the disciples, here's Paul telling how the church has been shown amazing things, how the people of God have been given the example that is in Christ, the example that continues in the witness of the apostles, that continues in the work of the church, and in the work of the church. And this is where Paul is being very specific here in Acts 20, to support the weak and remembering the words of the Lord Jesus. How the two go hand in hand. How you can't really do the work of, of caring for the least of these that have been given to us without remembering the words of Christ. That we ought to love one another. To, to love our neighbor as ourself as a, as a chief way of showing our love for God. That these two are the chiefest of commands. That they go hand in hand. But the words here that are remembered by Paul to those that are gathered with, that are kneeling down and praying together, he said, remember how the Lord Jesus said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And we as the church need to find that to be our focus again. That even as we are laboring to be the church, we're working to keep our churches open, we are working to keep our fellowship together. 
that the goal is not what we're going to get out of it. And so many congregations are struggling. So many fellowships are faltering because they're focused on, well, let's get these pews filled. Let's get people back into to giving to the church again. And it's about what they're receiving, whether it's in membership or in recognition or trying to reclaim some, some way of being the church in the past. It is still the goal of the church, the church of today, the church that is seemingly falling apart, the church that is being abandoned. It is still... The goal of the church ought to be to bless, to give. And if we're going to receive anything, it's to be open and humbled in heart to receive the blessings of God. As you seek to be the church today, as you seek to be a Christian in in fellowship or a Christian in your prayer closet, may it be about what you can give in praise especially that honors God. Amen.